So if I asked you, how old do you think this Persian rug is? Would you be able to tell me right away? What if I told you that this is a Kashan Persian rug, as a Persian rug made in the city of Kashan? And what are some of the things that you would look for to determine its age? You could look at the front of the rug. I could show you the back of the rug. And also, something else I could let you know is that this rug is made with 100% silk. Would that help you determine the age of the rug? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn how experts determine the age of Persian rugs, what are all the variables that they look for when they're determining the age, and also I'll tell you exactly how old this Kashan Persian rug is. Hi, I'm Sean with Catalina Rug, and I'm a third generation Persian rug expert, and our family business, Catalina Rug, has been selling rugs online for over 25 years. Now, we've bought and sold over 30,000 Persian and Oriental rugs over the years, and for me, growing up in the business, I've gained a deep appreciation and extensive knowledge about these beautiful works of art, and I'm here to share my expertise with you and hopefully help you make the buying decision a little bit easier and also have the same appreciation for Persian and Oriental lugs like I do. Alright, so now let's get into the topic of this video, which is how experts determine the age of Persian rugs. And before we get into it, let's do a quick overview of what we're going to discuss. So first we're going to go over the importance of knowing the age of the rug. Then we'll talk about some of the initial indicators that you can look for when you're trying to determine the age of a rug. And then after that, we'll talk about how you can look at the dyes and the different colors in the rug and also the material to analyze the rug for its age. And then we'll go over the design and style cues. So what are some things in the pattern and the design of the rug that could give away its age? And then finally, we'll end with uh, some of the technical indicators that you can use to determine the age of the rug. So with that, let's get into it. So first, let's talk about why is it important to know the age of the rug. So one of the obvious reasons is that it's very interesting to know the age of the rug. So if you look at any rug and be able to determine its age, it's kind of like someone who's a wine connoisseur and is able to tell uh, where a wine comes from by uh, tasting it. Uh, but besides that, one of the biggest things is that the age of the rug determines the value of the rug. So if you're planning to purchase a rug or you own some rugs, knowing the age will really uh, help you determine how much the rug is worth. And really, uh, knowing the age of the rug is probably one of the most difficult things to determine about the rug. So besides its design or where it's from, um, knowing the age is one of the hardest things to do. And really, it requires uh, an expert that has a really well-trained eye and a lifetime of experience um, looking at literally hundreds of thousands of rugs for their eyes to get trained um, on what cues, like subtle cues to look for. And uh, although this could be very challenging for rug enthusiasts and collectors, um, it is a very rewarding thing to be able to determine an age of a rug and build up this skill set. All right, so now that we know the importance of knowing the age of the rug, let's talk about some of the ways that you could initially indicate the age. So one of the ways is by looking for, obviously, signs of wear and tear on the rug. So when a rug is older or antique, obviously it's going to be used more, so there's people who walked on it, it's just been used over time. So one of the things that happens is that the pile of the rug is going to be uh, more worn out. It's going to have a lower pile and therefore you should be able to see some parts of its foundations. So that's one obvious thing that you could check. However, this is not really that reliable because there's plenty of antique and older rugs that are kept in great condition and so they're going to have a pretty full pile. Now, on the other hand, if you're looking at a newer rug, you would imagine the newer rug is going to have a full pile because it's new. However, there are newer rugs that are made uh, to look antique, so they're just going to have a low pile already. Or if they're not a uh, great quality rug, they just got worn much quickly and uh, compared to its age, they look like they're antique, but they're actually new. 
So because of that, wear uh, alone on the rug, so the wear and tear on the rug alone is not a great way to determine the age, but it is one of the initial indicators. Now, if you wanna take this to the next step, instead of just looking at the pile of the rug, we could actually look at the back of the rug. And if you learn from a lot of our videos, uh, the back of the rug can give many things away, and that's definitely the case when it comes to telling the age of the rug. So as the rug is used over the years, as uh, people walk on top of the rug and apply pressure on the pile of the rug, what happens is that the back of the rug is gonna have that pressure and friction on top of it from uh, you know people walking on top of it. And if the rug is older, this pressure and friction is gonna end up creating a more polished or a braided look uh, in the back of the rug. So it's gonna uh, look and feel more polished and abraded where if you're looking at a newer rug, the back is gonna still look a bit fuzzy and it's gonna have the frivolous surface uh, of the yarn because, well, there was less time where the pressure was applied. Now, if you look at the back of a very old rug, the back is gonna feel more gritty and almost like sandy if you feel the texture of the back. And that's because obviously that pressure is applied over decades and decades and it's just gonna um, wear on the back of the rug more. And another thing to note is that if you're looking at a really tightly woven rug, like a rug that has high KPSI, but the pile of the rug and like the back of the rug feels very supple, then that's another indication that the rug is actually very old. All right, so now let's talk about how experts can use the color or like the dyes and the material of the rug to determine its age. So one of the first things I look for is uh, color consistency. And the way that, that experts do this is by spreading the pile of the rug and checking for the consistency of the color in the pile of the rug. And what you can do is basically fold the rug's pile and look down from the top of the pile to the bottom of the pile where it meets the foundation. And basically, if the color of the pile becomes darker as you go towards the base of the pile, then that indicates that the pile dye that was used was synthetic and basically it has faded over time from light exposure. So it's gonna be lighter at the top than in the bottom. And this in indicates that the rug was made in the late 19th century or after. Now, if you look at rugs from the 1860s and before, they almost always have natural vegetable dye colors and they will fade naturally over time. And basically natural dyes are gonna have more mellow colors and the colors will over time fade with uh, exposure to sunlight and just being used. And then if you look at more modern colors that have been treated uh, to look old, they're gonna usually have a more uh, bleached look and they're gonna have a really sharp band of colors in the middle of their fiber versus the natural wear, which creates a more gentle color and the transition from the top to the bottom of the uh, pile is gonna just look more gentle and a more uh, even fade as it ages. So another thing that experts will check is to see if the rug has any abrash effect or variegation throughout the rug, or if the colors of the rug are consistent throughout the rug. Another thing to note is that experts will use the material of the rug to determine its age. And one of those uh, big giveaways is that rugs that were made after the 1930s, they usually have the cotton foundation instead of the uh, wool foundation. And that's because the machine spawn uh, cotton became much more uh, available. And so a lot of rugs were starting to made, uh, they were made with the cotton uh, foundation. So now let's talk about another way that experts can determine the age of the rug, which is using the design and the style of the rug um, to determine its age. So basically, uh, certain type of patterns that are seen in rugs and certain type of styles only can come from rugs that were made in a specific time period. So I'll give you a couple examples here. So one of the examples is a, a Ziegler Mahal uh, design. So these types of uh, Ziegler rugs were only made during a certain period. So if you know that you're looking at, at a Ziegler Mahal uh, pattern, you know that this is a Ziegler rug 
that was made during this specific time period. Another example is the Loto rugs, which were made during the late Renaissance. So if you're looking at a Loto design rug, that you know that this is made from the late Renaissance. Now, one of the best ways to determine uh, which design belongs to which time period is by consulting a design encyclopedia, which has different examples of the designs from different times. In general, this whole um, process can get uh, confusing because there are modern reproductions of old patterns and antique patterns such as Ziegler. So just determining the age of the rug by looking at the design is not going to be good enough. And that's why experts will you know, use other methods such as looking at the wear of the rug and the colors of the rug and some other methods we're going to go over later in this video. And that's how they're able to determine the age of the rug. So another related way that experts can determine the age of a Persian rug is by looking at the evolution of their design when they focus on a certain locale. So to give you an example, if we look at what are known as uh, Hariz rugs in the modern day, and we go back 150 years, there has been three different evolutions of their design. So first beginning with the Persian Bakhshash rug, these uh, rugs have a more tribal and a more open design, and they were made back in the 1870s and even earlier. Then we go to the next generation of their design, and they're known as Persian Serapi rugs. And basically, they have a little bit more structured look to them, but they still have the more open pattern. And these rugs are made in the late 19th century to the earliest 20th century. And then finally, we come to what you would now recognize as a Persian uh, Hariz rug. These will generally have a little bit more busier patterns, and these rugs were woven after the 1910s. So here is a great example of how a design of a certain locale can change over 150 years. So in this case, experts can use the design encyclopedia and focus on a specific locale. And for example, if they're looking at Hariz rugs and they could see that there's uh, the pattern has changed three times over the past 150 years, they could then look at the rug in front of them and see where the pattern matches the most. And that's how they can have a good estimate on the age of the rug. So another way that experts can determine the age of the rug is by looking at some of the technical indicators. One of those is, has the rug been repaired? So if you're looking at a rug that is very antique, generally speaking, there's a good chance that it has some repair and restoration. Now, experts will often not rely on just looking at the pile of the rug, so like the top of the rug. They'll usually have to, again, look at the back of the rug where it's more obvious to find repairs. And usually, if there are no repairs at all, then there's a good chance this is not a very antique rug and uh, it's a more uh, a newer recreation of an antique design. And of course, just using this method is not going to be the most reliable indicator because you have so many variables such as the rug not being used as much or if it's a replicated rug that's actually new or if the rug has just been stored the whole time and no one's walked on it. So uh, because of those things, you have to use other methods such as the KPSI of the rug. So KPSI or knots per square inch is another technical method that rug experts can help to determine the age of the rug. And in order to count the knots per square inch, all you have to do is basically flip the rug over, look at the back of the rug, measure one inch vertically and count the knots, then measure one inch uh, horizontally and count the knots, and then multiply the numbers together to get the total knots per square inch. And basically, when it comes to um, certain regions, there's going to be a characteristic KPSI. So certain regions will have a certain amount of uh, KPSI. And modern rugs will often have higher KPSIs than if you compare them to rugs from like the 18th or 19th century, uh, which are antique. And then also antique silk rugs will typically have higher KPSI. So again, this is uh, not the only method that rug experts will determine the age of the rug because of things such as antique silk rugs that will have the higher KPSI even though they're older. So as promised in the beginning of this video, 
This Persian rug, which is a Kashan Persian rug, is 150 years old and it's basically made in the 1870s and um, it has vegetable dye colors and you can tell by how subtle the colors look in this rug even though it's made with silk, which uh, newer silk rugs usually have a much brighter look to them. And the pile, I can tell you from the way it feels, is very supple and gentle. And so that's the age of this uh, Kashan Persian rug. So this concludes our video. I really hope that you enjoyed this topic and now you have a better idea of how rug experts will determine the age of a Persian rug and maybe you're inspired to develop this skill for yourself. And if you want to check out our website, catalinorug.com, we have thousands of Persian rugs in our inventory where you could practice um, guessing the age of the rugs because we have the obviously the images of the rugs and we have the ages of the rugs in our product specifications. Uh, with that, I hope you like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.